What's up, everybody? So I'm packing up uh, my sneaker collection, and I thought about it. I said, you know what? Since I'm going to have all my shoes out anyway, let me do uh, a collection video series because I haven't done one in several years. So some things have changed in my collection. So rather than kind of the typical one, I, you know, you put everything out and show it, I'm just going to show it as I, uh, as I pack it up, let you see each shoe. Um, and then kind of let's see what I got. So, um, in starting in chronological order, cause that's how I actually store my shoes. So I'll be starting with the, uh, Air Jordan one, and then I can fit in the two since I, I don't have a lot of twos in my collection. So, um, yeah, so that's what's happening. So, um, I gotta get this stuff packed. So let's go ahead and get into it. So let's get right to it. Shoe number one is the black and red air jordan one from 2001 and after all these years well i got a scuff mark there still holding up I actually just wore these last week sometime i think it was all right so here's the first one there all right next the black and royal you're the one from the same year, and I didn't show it on the other. Let's see if I can zoom in on what number this is, because I'm using one hand here on my camera, because Jordans during that time were actually numbered. This is, I've said it before, i say it again, it's when it meant something to own a pair, and that is a pair 11,444 of 50,000, and these I've worn within the past few months, and uh 16 years later man this is what they look like they've held up rather well so there's that one yes i still have the uh keychain for the black and blue ones but the black and red ones i don't it actually fell off one day when i was wearing them all right the white and navy air jordan one and i have the, still have the keychain there there's a reason why i don't wear these anymore but i can't Remember what it was. Maybe it isn't. Way these are also from 2001. These are a pair 3,172 of 7,016. See these this often? There those. All right. Up next, the white and navy ones. I want to say these maybe from 03 or 04. So see, rather than the swoosh there they had a jump man see jordan on the back clear out so there i can't remember if these are numbered ah and they were so hopefully you can see that that is pair 1985 of 2002 though hmm i don't remember these being that rare those all right up next we have from the patent series from 03 the black and gold patent ones still have the uh jumpman keychain here uh these aren't numbered so i'll let you see that and i actually have right on this side i'm not going to show it because i don't want to aggravate it i have a bit of separation there so I'll need to have these repaired so I can continue to wear them because I actually really like these. And there's those. All right. All right. Then, I guess you call these the Chicago patents. Only colorway of this I have actually in my collection. So that's kind of spoiling it for later on. Still have the Jumpman there. And the same reason I don't wear my black and reds are the same reason I can't wear these because right, right there, again, I'm not going to show it, have some separation there. And I didn't find out until I actually went to try to wear them one day and found it out the hard way. So there are those guys there. I'm going to put those back. Get a shot of them. All right. Okay. Now. We have the black and red ones, uh, 
from earlier this year. And if you notice, I'm not using the word band, which <clears throat> these are not, in fact, band ones. The band ones were the ones that came out in 2013. And they had the X's um, on the shoe and on the box. And if you want to go even further, the Air Jordan 1 was technically not even the shoe that was banned. It was actually the Air Shift. But hey, stories and marketing sell, so let most people roll with it. But that shoe was not actually the band. Uh, up next. Black and Royal Air Jordan 1 uh, from earlier this year. There you go. And this is a really nice shoe. They did a really good job on this one. Very nice leather indeed. Truly worthy of an Air Jordan 1. Despite the fact how they bastardized, bastardized this shoe to the point of where it's not even... That has any meaning anymore. It's a shame, but I'm not going to get on that tangent. So there are the black and roll. All right. I know this is not the original box, but the AJKOs. Uh, these a couple years back. I think I've actually worn these once, maybe. I even wore them with the, <laughs> the bag of laces attached. So there are these and... I actually really like these. I probably wear them more. That Vandal outsole. There's your logo there. That. And there are the KOs. All right. I know a lot of people don't like these. They get, they get a lot of hate. But the uh, Alpha Air Jordan ones or the Air Jordan Alpha ones, I actually like these. I kind of forgot about these because I know I mentioned earlier um, when I had the patent ones that these were the only Chicago-esque colorway I had. I forgot about these. Some people might say, hey, this shoe is forgettable. But I actually like it. Um, I've actually uh, played in these. Um, and I know one of my workout videos, I don't know if I've uploaded it, but if I haven't, I'll, I'll do it both here and on my uh, other channel, Shooting and Kicks. Uh, but I was actually pleasantly surprised with these from a performance standpoint, which was the actual point of the shoe, kind of the up-to-date, uh, more performance-based version of the Air Jordan 1. And so those are those guys that... Actually, I almost forgot about the last, but certainly not least, are these Air Jordan 1 lows that I got here. So I feel like I have another pair of one lows somewhere but this purple and blue colorway here with your vault i guess you can call it oh, so there i've shown these on another video <clears throat> i haven't worn these as of yet i'll get to it but there are those there so that's gonna complete the ones i'll uh grab my twos real quick i'll be right back all right here we go air jordan twos let's get this started all right this one here uh this is you remember these are from let's find out together shall we sorry sorry for the Okay, hopefully you can see it. That's from 2004. Now, remember, these were initially all, the midsole was white. Okay, they look something like this. Okay, so <clears throat> I really wasn't feeling them like that. So I'd taken uh, and I painted the midsole black. This was one of my early attempts when I was customizing and restoring and doing that sort of thing. Um, and I painted the midsole black and they actually looked really good. And I started wearing them, but this was early on in my thing that never occurred to me that the paint would actually start to crack and chip. 
And that's what happened. And when that did, I kind of stopped wearing them. So this is why this is them in their current state because I never bothered to go back and fix it. And so here they are. Here the bleep they are. So that's why they look like that. And this is the only pair of two lows that I actually own. So there are those right there. I wish I really had a picture of them when they were done. I'm sure I'd do somewhere, but oh well. All right, now, the Mellow 2s. Um, and you know, I don't see actually a lot of people wearing these. Um, and I like these a lot. I've always, I always have. I never wore them too, too much. Um, it was a pain getting these just because of where I was living at the time, the shadiness of the shops that carried them. But that's another story for another video. So let's see that there, you know, this is back of course when Mello played for the Nuggets and had his own colorways of shoes and whatnot. And we got some great colorways and this was definitely one of them. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, these will be coming back in 2018. So if you missed out way back in uh, 2004, I forget, you'll have your chance um, this upcoming year. So here are my Mellow 2s, and that's pretty much it. The only other 2s I have, but they are the ones from the Converse pack. Well, I don't feel like pulling that box back out, and I've just shown those on a previous video. So now I have those. So that's going to wrap up this video, starting off with the 1s and the 2s. Um, as I pack up, I'll do the rest of the shoes all the way up until everything. So you'll be able to see everything I got. So thanks, everybody, for watching. <laughs> the video ran a little long, but I did have a lot of ones there. Um, so I'll be back with more of these videos real soon. And if you like them, just let me know. All right, everyone, take care. Peace.